Hello everyone. I'm just lounging around in my pajamas. Yep, went to the gym. Bam. Trying to get in shape for the summer. So I'm a little out of shape, but I should be ready by the summer. So what can we talk about? Oh, guess what? You know, sometimes I'm a political um, like geek, like, and I was watching um, all the news outlets saying, "Oh, the DACA people are angry with the Democrats because the Democrats dropped the ball when the government shut down." But then, as I started studying it, I started looking, and I said, "The Democrats were." brilliant because what the Democrats were focusing on on was CHIP. If you're not familiar with CHIP, CHIP is a bill that was passed to help critically ill children who have severe cancer and all these other different issues that were going with these children. And the Republicans were holding that bill hostage over the DACA bill. So the Democrats had to figure out a way how they can get a bill passed to help these critically ill children, which they did. They got a bill passed for six years so that these children can get medical treatment. How mean is that that politicians can hold children who are critically ill and sick hostage over the DACA bill, the immigration bill? And now that Chip has finally got a bill and these children are able to receive their medicine and the critical needs that they need, you know, and doctors and nurses. Now we're back to the DACA bill, to the immigration bill. I don't believe the Republicans have any intentions of passing any type of bill. So what we have to do, 67% um, of Americans believe that the immigrants should just start paying taxes. Start paying taxes, not sending their money overseas and so forth, paying taxes. And we have to realize that the developers and the millionaires are the ones that are perpetuating the whole situation because they're the ones that are hiring the immigrants. Most poor people or middle class people can't afford to hire all this labor. We have to get out and cut our own grass and do our own thing. But those millionaires and those developers are hiring all these immigrants, and I don't see anybody writing the bill to go after them. I would like to see the Democrats and the Republicans come up with a bill saying, you know what, we're going to go after you millionaires because you're perpetuating a situation. You're the one who are hiring these immigrants. But ICE is going after families. ICE is breaking up families. Uh, fathers taking their kids to the school. As soon as they're a block away from the school, ICE will grab them, arrest them, and deport them. Guess what? The kids have no parents. So what we're doing now, we're going to have to take money to build all these orphanages because these children who were stripped from their parents who were built, born in this country or take these kids and put them in strange homes. How, tra how traumatizing is that going to be for those kids? Can we be that heartless that we can break up families? Families, think about it. Think about it if you were in a country and somebody snatched you away from your family. And this is what's going on. This is what's going on. But nothing is being said to the people who are perpetuating the whole situation. And that is the people with the money, baby. The corporations, the companies, they're the ones, and the developers, they're the ones who are hiring all the illegal um, immigrants. And ICE is not going after them. But if a project needs to be done, guess what? ICE doesn't show up. They make sure that building is built. And then when they're not needed no more, guess who can snatch them and take them and throw them back to the country. But in the meantime, the kids are growing up here in America, don't know how to swing a hammer, don't know how to do no type of electrician work. Nothing. Okay? You think the country was to say, you know what? We're going to start having schools go into partnership so that when the kids grow up 
and graduate from high school, they can go right into the light company or the gas company or the water company and have a skill. It's simple. It's simple. We have to teach our kids skills so they can do the work so that we don't have to go to another country and bring people here. Right now, we got what you call Xbox and PlayStation generation. They don't even know how to swing a hammer. It's sad what's going on in this country. It's so sad to know that politics is bringing out so much deep-rooted racism. Did we think the country was like this? It is. It's getting bad and it's being split right down the middle. But we need to bring it together. The women are bringing it together. In Alabama and Virginia, all those black women came out and voted for their interests and they put a Democratic into Congress in Alabama and Virginia. But 51% of white women voted against their own interests. In Ohio, they lost their right to be able to choose. You know, if they got pregnant, if a woman gets raped in Ohio, she got to have the baby. And they got rid of their birth control and contraceptives in Ohio because women came out 51% and they were white women and voted against their own interests. They stripped their rights on their job. Why would they go and vote against their own interests? So white women and black women, you guys got to pull together so that you can have that girl power and you start putting people into Congress, more women into Congress, so that we can make this country a better place. But right now, we got a lot of jokers in Congress who are tearing this country apart. We got terrible people that are, were elected as Republicans, and then they screwed the little man, and they gave corporations this huge tax cut, and the little man, we're not getting anything. It's not trickling down to us. We're not getting any bonuses. So, like I said, you know, um, I'm a political geek and I study these things. This is my opinion. And so I'm putting my opinion by video. Okay? So that people can look at the video and come up with their own assumption. But this is how I see it. This is what I believe. I'm just keeping it real. And that's what it is. It is what it is. Hey, take care and stay tuned for my next video. Take care. Bye.